All right, all right. Welcome to another episode of Laser One Sports uh, College Football. And uh, yeah, I know it's been a while <laughs> since uh, uh made a video, but uh, hey, we're trying to. Uh, I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, I didn't even started the season yet, but I did want to do do with the recruits and everything. So I tried to put everything on the wheel, but I wasn't able to record it like I wanted to. So I just went on and just played it out. <clears throat> As we took the top uh, 50 some odd players, and we put them on the wheel of destiny, dynasty names, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we rotated the wheel to see who was going to uh, declare and then they rotated the reel to see where they declare to. <clears throat> so we put all the teams up on, on the thing. So that's basically how I did it. I was gonna show the whole process, but I uh, wasn't able to do that. I was gonna show, a, a, do a big presentation, but I wasn't able to do that as well. So it's just letting, showing, who the recruits were or are and where they wound up at. So we looking at uh, Northeast Alabama first. They was the big winner of this whole thing <laughs> as they have a, uh, a four star uh, cornerback named Pluck U from Northern uh, Washington. Figure that one out. And uh, you know, you get a quick look at his stats and everything and, and uh, some of the other little uh, things that we put on on this particular player. And uh, as you can see, uh, it's kind of short. <laughs> like one, I think he's the shortest one I put in the whole draft class. But hey, he, as you can see, uh, he got pretty good stats. Had to go in and uh, make a few modifications on his, uh, on his uh, after abuse. But I, I pretty much did that with basically everyone, depending on uh, what their uh, are they a four star, three star, whatever star they are. And um, so that's uh, where we at right there. Um, and. Uh, He's more uh, of a physical defensive back. He's more of a uh, a uh, tackler or hitter, if you will, than a cover guy. And you know, we give him a little return kick stuff. All right, and then we have a, a wide receiver from Marcy, New York. Mercy, New York. Marcy, New York. Four star. Uh, they call him Ashy Larry. He's also pretty tiny compared to your average uh, uh, college football player. But he's a pretty good wide receiver. Pretty good. <clears throat> More known for his route running than, than what you would call blazing speed. <laughs> I mean, you know, 84, that is pretty fast, but, like I said, uh, he's more known for his route running and his uh, awareness, as you see, um, adjusting that. You know, a few of these other little things here. His catching is, is pretty good. Spectacular catch. Not much for catching in traffic though. Got his route running really good. And now we have a, uh, a linebacker who's probably gonna play like <clears throat> different spots, you know, uh, you know, inside, outside. And he's from Massachusetts, uh, choppy, 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 choppy. Yeah, four star, as you can see. And uh, uh, Corey Ford here, and he's he's a pretty good uh, linebacker. Um, 
Yeah, 6'2", 228. was a pretty good, pretty good size for a linebacker, middle linebacker, outside linebacker. And uh, I ain't really much to say other than <laughs> than he's pretty good. Uh, one of the top players in the uh, in this thing. And as you can see so far, uh, Northeast Alabama already got uh, uh, three, four stars in his uh, class. Out of these, um, supposed to be like the the top fifty something players that you know that we won't be keeping up with during the course of time. <clears throat> uh, it, like I said, it took me a minute to uh, to get all this put together. I may even uh, make some changes on this height. <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Five <laughs> eleven. Okay, we like him short here in Northeast Alabama. <laughs> like him kind of light too. <laughs> anyway, that's uh. Oh, my fault. <laughs> we don't switch players. <laughs> Fred Dream, the wide receiver from Casper, Casper, Wyoming. Oh my goodness. Anyway, another uh lightweight wide receiver who uh who's a three star. Three star, he's a three star. Uh trying to see and now we have uh Andre Smith. He's from uh Westfield, Massachusetts. Defense tackle, two star. And we had another uh, uh, two-star Vegas Vaughn, uh, a safety from Neham, Massachusetts, but uh, we don't have him on here. So we move over to Gulfport as they get the top quarterback out of this thing. They get Mighty Joe Leslie uh, from Huntsville, Alabama, five-star. This is the top dog here. Unfortunately, he went to He's going to Gulfport, who's already got a top dog uh, quarterback. So I'm pretty sure uh, this individual is probably most likely going to get red shirted. <laughs> so that means the next four seasons, hey, <laughs> look out for Gulfport, at least offensively. We don't know how uh, they're going to develop their defense, but they definitely got the top quarterback right now. And, uh, Take it. Yeah, I did a video on this one, so you pretty much know of uh, seeing them in action in high school. And like I said, he's a he's a five star um, quarterback. Wasn't crazy about it. I might go back and change that face mask though. Ooh, the face mask looks horrible <laughs> for a quarterback. But hey, he's a hard nose, so you see pretty good side. Now, oh, and they also got the wall. <laughs> Five star uh, tackle, Odell Odenberg from Randolph, Massachusetts. Hey, if you're gonna get you a five-star quarterback, you might as well get him a five-star lineman to block for him, right? <laughs> so there you have it. Well go for it. Was uh give them a pretty good uh, uh draft class uh, recruiting player. Now keep in mind, this is not all they recruits that they got. These are just the top fifty something uh, that I wanted to focus on. Mostly ones that I kind of made up. <laughs> so so uh you know that type of thing. So let me see where we at right now as we uh. I, I always got to put on offensive linemen. I got to put these uh, knee braces on. It's kind of like a requirement that I try to do for offensive linemen. Let's put those knee braces on. I go ahead and put them on the, the freshman year so I don't have to worry about it later on. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, he's a he's a big fella. <laughs> All right, now we're moving on to Louisiana A and M, and they got a package deal, a couple of four star uh, uh, offensive linemen, a couple of guards, as you see. Uh, how you say that, Merville, Merville, Mark Merville, from Lake City, South Carolina. They use, use, uh, I don't know, man. It was kind of like, uh, you know, played on the same offensive line in high school. And they was kind of like, you know, best of friends. And, and they want to kind of stay together. So, so they was kind of like a package deal. So whichever one uh, declared first and whatever school that one went to, the other one is going to. We had a couple of package deals, too couple of brothers a couple of sets of brothers I think but uh, no these guys are not brothers they just good friends want to play on the same team be on the same line there's Sam Saunders also like I said package deal Lake City uh, South Carolina four star and uh, these are a couple of big fellas too I'm playing <laughs> They are not playing. And you know, checking out this stat. Try to keep. I try to keep a, a, a set uh, according to your star. You know, uh, of how I do the uh, stats and everything, depending on. If you're a five star, uh, if you're a four star, three star, try to stay within a particular thing. Uh, it's, it's 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 a headache <laughs> trying trying to uh, manipulate all these things. And now we got a uh, luncheon bird uh, going to the GMC big offensive line. No, excuse me, defensive lineman from Lake City, South Carolina. GMC did quite well, and they was able to uh, pick up on the defense. Uh, actually, they really need to help offensively, but uh, if you can stop a team from scoring, uh, that gives you a chance, right? So they pick up a uh, defensive end, and I'm a four star, so I'm pretty sure he'll be playing right away. Some of the three stars are not going to play right away. And very few four and above is going to get red shirted and not play right away. It depends on which team they went to or what they got ahead of them. Uh, but there you go with, uh, how you say the Kobe. Kobe. And then we got Mickey Madden. Right tackle, big guy from St. Paul, Minnesota. He's a three-star now. He definitely there's a chance he may not be playing right away, but he does boost that that offensive line a little bit. And who knows, he might get in before the end of the season. We never know. You know, that red shirt still a thing in this game. Checking the stats, checking the stats. You see pass blocking and run blocking. You see 73 and 70. All right. Now we're looking at uh, Mississippi Tech as they got a small defensive back uh, known as Mr. Roboto. Don't ask. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> Eastside, California, four star. He's small, but uh, he can play. He's more of a cover guy, though, I believe. Not much of a, a the physical type. But we'll get a look at him soon enough. Being a four-star, most likely he might see some action. And not, uh, not get the red shirt. As you can see, he's 
see, like you said, covering is more of his thing. He said, why not? Put him on the return. Chances are, you won't see him returning any kicks. I don't know if he got the speed. Well, he got pretty good speed. So you might see him returning kicks. All right, now we got Josh McLaughlin here. He's a running back slash wide receiver. So you're gonna see him all over the place. Don't be surprised. We need him, Massachusetts, three star. He's, he's better uh, running routes coming out of the backfield. But he's more of a catching the ball type running back than uh, running from scrimmage type running back. So, and to give the quarterback uh, some options, he, you know, that safety valve. That, but sometimes, you know, he come, he goes deep out of the backfield. So, so yeah, he's he's pretty good. He got a decent quarterback to work with, so we'll see how that works out. Oh, yeah, like I said, three star. <clears throat> All right, so now we're checking out the Central Tennessee. As they got a wild card of a quarterback named Happy Hazard. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be playing uh, this year. I don't know if he's going to get registered, though. But, you know, they still got their star quarterback. But, hey, he's the uh, the heir to the quarterback throne at uh, uh, Central Tennessee. And uh, like I said, he's kind of a wild card. He's a three-star. He comes from Hot Spot, Arizona. Whatever that is. <laughs> um, whatever that is. But anyway, uh, this is just your basic um, uh, quarterback. Nothing real spectacular. He, he, can, he can throw the ball. He's pretty good at he also a kicking option. If you wanna do that. So don't be surprised if you see him on the special teams and you might you know, do some tricks out of that. Then we got Slim Skinner. He's a center from Newberry, uh, South Carolina. He's a two-star though. So he's gonna need a little development. Better than most two stars, so that's how he uh, got on this list. <laughs> but, uh, I, and then uh, defensive end Bobby Brady, uh, Brandon, Brandon, Bandy, 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 uh, Lake City, South Carolina. Uh, also a two star, so he'll probably need to do some development before he uh, get out there in full force. And now we're looking at the defending champions of the, S of the new SEC, Florida a &T. They come up with Quincy Wright from River Falls, Massachusetts, who's a three-star defensive end. And this dude just look mean. <laughs> he just look like he ready to whoop some. <laughs> yeah, he do. So uh, we're gonna definitely keep an eye on this guy. When uh, Florida A and T, when they uh, play in the uh, the SEC kickoff classic, so we can uh, wait to. Yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, because their defense has been so good, he may not even be a star, or may not even play at all. But uh, I don't think he's gonna get registered. So we'll see. You see, the boy's good. <laughs> and this is 
still working on the uh, on the stats here. And then we have Slade Harris from Newberry, South Carolina, three star uh, safety. So we're gonna keep our eye on, on the safety main. Keep our eye on the safety. Um, he's a three star. Yeah, three star. Never forget the three stars. And, and I think Florida A and T will probably three P is a champion. But we'll see. Um, you never know how these games could go. <laughs> but um, can't wait to get started, man. Eh? Ugh. I'm just moving so slow. And I'm apologize for that for those who keep coming back and checking us out. Not the best cover guy, but like I said, he's a he's a three star. He'll be all right. Now we're looking at Shallow, who has a five star running back, J.D. Weeks, and from Birmingham, Alabama. That was a good pick for uh, Shallow. This is the only one that they were able to get out of this uh, group, and I think it was a good. Uh, catch <laughs> I was kind of I was hoping he was going to go to another team but he wind up with Shiloh so here's a team that's mostly known for uh, throwing the ball a hundred times a game so we're going to see how that's going to work out for this five star running back <laughs> who knows maybe he changed the uh, offense but as you can see his stats are off the chain. We're going to see if he's going to make a difference up in uh, shallow Arizona. Now, here's a weird one that we have here from Key West. They have Joe Bryant, who's a five star from South Carolina, but he is listed as a kick returner. And I might redshirt him because not only is he a kick returner, he's also a kicker. <laughs> yep. He kicks and he returns kicks. Yeah, kicking is not his uh, number one thing. It's just something else that he does. So, uh, but yeah, he's gonna be returning kicks. So that's gonna be uh, something to see. But not only he's gonna be returning kicks, he might be kicking. So I might put him on an extra point squad and see how they do and then maybe move them or just have them punt I don't know I figure it out it's not something that we have to deal with now because he's red shirted I believe he's red shirted if not then I'll have to figure it out early but I do believe he is red shirted all right now we got Alabama Tech this is the team that I mostly play with. And uh, I was able to pick up uh, Freddie Fisher, who's a four star uh, cornerback from Rivers Fall. And believe me when I tell you, this team is loaded with defensive backs. So I don't even know if he, this guy even gonna get a chance to even play his freshman year. But um, they are loaded with defensive backs. Which is crazy, but it is what it is, right? But, uh, 
Oh. This one hundred dollars high tech drone is flying off. I didn't. Oh yeah, Fall Rivers, Alabama, uh, Massachusetts. <laughs> I forgot to even say where he was from. But he's all the way down here in the uh, in the south. So we're gonna see how he gonna do down here. <laughs> see his stats are are decent are good really <laughs> so uh and who knows it might be returning kicks too so. All right, now we got uh, uh, KCU, uh, Kentucky Christian University, and they only have one. They have a two-star that they picked up, Carlos uh, Jordan from Columbus Central, South Carolina, strong safety. So, yeah, they were only able to pick up one. You know, when I was spinning that wheel to see what teams uh, declare, I really had to start removing teams off that wheel because there were certain teams that just kept getting player after player after player. Like you saw, Northeast Alabama had a lot. Because <laughs> I wanted to at least have every team at least get one player. And uh, there was a couple of teams that had multiple players and some teams didn't have none so as we got later in the um, in the spinning of the wheel i had to remove some teams off the wheel to keep them from you know from teams getting completely shut out and i mean completely shut out All right, and then we have uh, Joker Foot, which is a uh, picked up by uh, Northeast Texas State punter from Gotham, New Jersey. Two star, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, not exactly what they needed, but is what they got. Happen that way sometimes. It happens that way sometimes. <laughs> so that's the um, the uh, uh, new SEC uh, uh, top players that got recruited by the new SEC. Can't wait to see some of them in action. Some of them I can wait, but some of them I can't wait. <laughs> but we're gonna go a little bit quicker, hopefully, <laughs> with uh, the other teams. Lake Plastic, they got uh, the second top player in this thing, the five-star uh, quarterback Chester Lemon. Yeah, how did they get him? I don't know, but they was able to snatch him out of the. Randolph, uh, Massachusetts, and uh, hey, what can you say? I'm not sure if he's gonna be starting though. I know he's not redshirted, but I'm not sure if he's gonna start. But uh, yeah, and uh, the new quarterback is here, <laughs> and this time is now. Yeah, and then um, they was able to pick up a center too from East Port, East Portland, Oregon, uh, Wally World. 
uh, he's a two star so he probably most likely most likely not play he might get red shirted but he I don't see him uh, playing just yet but uh I mean, he's a, he's a two star. What can you say? Mm, I don't have uh, any anything other than that. <laughs> uh, another quarter, another quarterback you might remember. He's going to Thunder Bay. He's a three star, Andrew Price from Need Needham, Needham, Massachusetts. Played in that uh, state championship against. Uh, against uh chester so you hey so they little rivalry is gonna continue when they play seeing how they both gonna be in the acc uh the new acc <laughs> oh man i gotta remember uh stanford and california is going to the acc as well man that's gonna be fun mixing all that together right <laughs> anyway but uh thunder bay was able to pick up a three-star quarterback so that works out for him and uh and then we have ryan fernando a defensive end from neyland massachusetts he is a two-star big fella two-star To help boost the, that defense. Uh, being a two star, he might be on the uh, red shirt list. Have to wait and see. A lot of these I have to wait and see when it comes to uh, whether or not they get that shirt of red. <laughs> they get that shirt of red. All right, now we have a snapper heart heart mark. Uh, kicker out of Honolulu, 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 Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. Uh, two star kicker. Uh, I think he, I think he's gonna be uh starting I'm not sure I gotta go back and look but yeah it's a kicker I don't see him not kicking I definitely don't see him getting red shirted so. so we just have to wait and see on that one now we into Eugene my team one of the teams I'll be playing Michael Wiss Wissen Becker Barker Becker Decker Becker Tight end, four star. Tell you what, this guy is definitely playing, and he definitely gonna see the ball. I'm definitely gonna keep throwing to this guy right here. He's the only one that Eugene was able to pick up uh, out of this group, so he's definitely gonna be the man. So be on the lookout for this tight end. If you think I'm joking, I'll prove it to you. He's gonna see the ball a lot. A lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna throw and throw and throw and throw and throw to this guy right here. Believe me when I tell you. Mm. In fact, we gotta kick off. Uh, kick off the first week. Oh yeah, you won't see him. Oh, and now uh, we're going into uh, Conference USA, Delaware Tech. There's another team I'll be playing. Uh, Superman Craig, the big, strong, five-star uh, little linebacker who will probably play some running back too. <laughs> uh, he'll be uh, he'll be running the ball, Mr. Five Star, and he'll be uh, playing defense, Mr. Five Star. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, Delaware Tech was able to get him. Boy, I smile when they when they. When, when 
that will landed on DT. <laughs> Not as much as I would if it had landed on Alabama Tech, but I definitely smile when he landed on on Georgia Tech. I mean, uh, Delaware Tech. Now we got a four-star quarterback, another big one, uh, John Santa Sanderson uh, from Hackensack, New Jersey, four-star, and uh, he will be our quarterback of the future. Um, yeah, so he gonna definitely got to get used to throwing that ball to that tight end. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I say he was a four-star. That's say he's from Hackensack. That's say he's from New Jersey. That's say he was a four-star. All right, now we got Barry Broken, a guard from Silver Plains, Nevada. Uh, you know, when you get a quarterback, you want to get a lineman. Um, but uh, he's a you say he's a guard. He's only a two-star, but he got time to develop. He'll be all right. He got plenty of time to, uh, to get where he needed to get to to help this quarterback and this running back uh, slash linebacker. All right, so now we're looking at uh, our a and They did pretty well in this thing. They got a the package deal of the Smoke Brothers. Uh, that one is Spike, uh, Section Illinois, excuse me, Section Indiana, uh, three-star, cornerback slash wide receiver. Quarterback slash wide receiver. And uh, Spike Smoke. And then uh, got his brother here. As soon as we can get to him. I'm uh, still looking at Spike. <laughs> we're still looking at Spike. Hey, the boy, oh, the boy good. There you go, Steels. Now we got Steels. Uh, smoke. Who, like you said, uh, section in Indiana. Both are three stars, and they're package deal, so they, you know they come together. They wasn't gonna, they didn't want to be separate. So you get one, you get the other, and Iowa and m was able to get them. Uh, both play wide receiver, both play defensive back. So it's gonna be interesting to see how our Iowa and m Plays them. Then they got Mark Mavis, middle linebacker, Jack Yates, Texas. Jack Yates probably don't even exist anymore, but it was a high school that I knew back when I was a kid. Uh, that I knew of. Three star uh, linebacker, middle linebacker. Um, look like he. Uh, just a basic uh, linebacker. You know, man in the middle. Take care, you know, take charge of everything. And then they get a a two-star quarterback from Lake City, South Carolina. Steve Merka, 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 Merka. I don't know how good he's gonna be. Uh, like I say, he's a two star, so you know he's probably gonna get red shirt. And he's gonna need some developing. But you know, he might be that diamond in the rough, as they call it. A diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. I'll figure y'all out. Alright, now we got, uh, Boston State, home of the Bats, and Boston State has the uh, Daniel Scott defense in South Carolina, three star. He uh, winner of that state championship. How you say that? Aroma, 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 Aroma South Carolina. Well, and he's a package deal. With his uh his teammate, so you have a defensive end who's a three star, and then you have uh, another defensive end, his teammate Troy Smith from Iroma, South Carolina. 
state champions, three stars. Defensive tackle, defensive end. So, you know how that goes. <laughs> you know how that goes. Anyway, uh, so that's a good boost to that defensive line. And then they picked up a guard, uh, Ace Downs from Flint, Michigan. Ace! Yeah, it's on base. Um, he's a uh, two star. So it's going to be a minute before he uh, gets to play. It's going to be a minute before he get a get an opportunity to get out there and show what he got. So now we're looking at uh, JSU, who is the defending Division II champion. But guess what? They're in Division I now, so it doesn't matter. They get Leonard Washington, quarterback from Westway, New York, four-star, top pick, one of the top quarterbacks out there. And man, I'm tell you what, that was a big pickup for uh, JSU. Not bad after winning a natty in in the lower division. Now you come in in the upper division and you and you got something. And man, do they have something. And then they also picked up a running back who was a three-star from Hartford, Connecticut. A Drew and Ar Ardison, Ardison, Ardison. And, uh, and that's a big pickup as well because, you know, these, this team like to run the ball a lot. So, yeah, top quarterback and a pretty good running back. That's pretty good. Fairbanks, they pick up uh, the top fullback in this entire class, uh, Mark Thunder from Huntsville, Canada. A Canadian, you go what? Three star, big fella, looks strong, probably gonna play. Well, you know, uh, Fairbanks, you know, they had to run that option a lot, so he, he gonna see the ball a lot. And he got pretty good speed for a uh, for a fullback. So yeah, they gonna they gonna love this guy. And they also picked up on the quarterback, Caden. Uh, I said Sander. San, man, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> Caden. Let's leave it at that. Bismarck, North Dakota, three-star quarterback. We gonna see this guy can bring to the table to uh, Fairbank who still like to run that option style of offense whoa and now we're going to Iowa Tech who they got Ben Ramsauer Ramser and he's an outside linebacker three star from Lake City South Carolina got a lot of South Carolina and a lot of uh, Massachusetts but it just came out that way because those were the two high school things that I did I'm going to try to uh, mix it up a little bit more on the next go around and they was able to pick up a, uh, a three star running back Alex Howell from Randolph Massachusetts running back they just got him down there for running back he most likely going to play half back but we'll see We'll see how they'll do with uh, Iowa Tech. And now we're looking at the original Saddam. The original Saddam. Which is um, uh, South Dakota a and they pick up a player by the name of Pit Bull. That's what they call defensive line slash fullback, four star, Rome, Georgia. Big, mean, strong. That's all you need to know. Big, mean, strong. That's all you need to know. They call him the Pit Bull. Now we got uh, Jake Pruitt, 
who is a middle linebacker from Greenwood, South Carolina. Not as big, not as mean, not as strong. Two star, but hey, I still think he can get the job done <laughs> as a two star. Don't know how they, um, how does the flying squirrels gonna play them. I just know he on the team. Then we got not picture here, Silky Johnson hmm. from uh, Washington D.C. A four-star quarterback, gonna be playing for Delaware A&M. And uh, what can I say? <laughs> Silky Johnson, smooth like wine. <laughs> Ooh, slick as silk. <laughs> Silky Jones. Oh boy. And shoot, we gotta play them. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we got some good numbers on them. Alright, then we got the uh, Colorado Spring. They only the one. They got a four-star running back. Call them Be Beautiful. <laughs> From Short Beach, uh, Mississippi. Quick in fair not the physical type he the one that you you know run outside the tackle <laughs> you want him to have the ball in, in the open space <laughs> but hey there he is he's ready to go uh colorado springs they got him a good running back all right pacifica 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 Brad Smith from Union, South Carolina, outside linebacker, who's a two-star. Probably won't see him until next season, I guess. He'll probably get the red shirt. Probably won't even. Uh, yeah, he'll probably get the red shirt. Then you got Rodney um, Washington, defensive tackle from uh, Lake City, South Carolina. Probably much of the same with him. Probably get the red shirt. Who knows? And then uh, Montana AM, they get uh, the last of the uh, quarterbacks that was out there. Three star quarterback, uh, John Paul Thompson from uh, Sumter East Bay, South Carolina. Sumter East Bay. Three star. Not sure where he will fit in, whether he be a red shirt or second string. And then the last, we have Hawaii Tech. They get a three-star middle linebacker from Ball Hill, Ohio. Call him Ricky the Raw. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Raw is considered to be a dirty, dirty player, but I think he's pretty good. He just misunderstood one of those hard-nosed players that get a bad rep. <laughs> anyway, that's it, man. That's all of the uh, top 50-some-odd recruits. 50-some, what is it, 54? Something like that. Some-odd recruits. And uh, we're going to get this thing rolling soon. I know that, uh, like I said, I hadn't even gotten started in the actual college football season is almost over and I ain't even did root one of this uh, dynasty so yeah I need to start picking, picking up the pace a little bit so uh, hopefully we can get to uh, to uh, the kickoff classic and root one and get that out the books as soon as possible so uh, thanks for uh, hanging in and uh, we'll catch you in the next video Till then, you have a good one.